Hey guys, I want to talk about a few things, you know, some books and some other stuff. This is a little bit of my books. Um, so let's get started. Um, you have to excuse the old table. This is my my work table, and I got it out of the um, out of my storage room that I work on and stuff. So um, let's get started here. This one I've had this book. I've had this book for, oh, I say about six, seven years. I found it in a free bin at a bookstore, and it's got a lot of great information. I mean, the complete book of outdoor lore, lore, sorry, I can't say that name, by, oh man, I hope I can get this in here right. Oh, let me see if I can back up. I'm trying to, the shine is screwing it up, guys. Let's see if his name's in here somewhere. There we go. But if you can find this somewhere at a used bookstore or something like that, I would highly recommend getting it. You know, it, it shows you how to make different uh, fishing lures out of can openers, spoons, um, uh, it just, it's just got a lot of old time knowledge in this. And this, whoever had it, let me show you here. 1968, it was given from Texarkana, Texas. So, um, this is a pretty cool book. Uh, next book I want to talk about my friend Pat gave me this book. And it's Caves of Tennessee. And I would advise anybody and everybody to wherever you are to go buy a book about caves in your area because you don't know what might happen and being in a cave is a lot better being in a lean-to and this has got this has got all the counties of Tennessee with caves in there I didn't know there's that many caves in Blount County but um, you know this is a good book to get. Get you a book on caves in your area or your state. Because um, it would definitely help. Uh, I picked this up. It's an old first aid book. I found it. I picked it up. And it is going... Let's see. Here we go. 1967. This is definitely going in my bug out bag. Or my medical bag because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it then I'm gonna put it in my medical bag I'm gonna highlight areas you know poisonous snakes I know that already I kill all snakes I don't care uh, just uh, there are, it's all kinds of good information in here and uh, highly recommend getting you a uh, first aid book because I learned that lesson this one, I don't know, I, we, we found this at a yard sale, I think. I think I paid 50 cents. Um, Royal Ambassador, you know, uh, Camp Craft. It's a, I guess it's a church, I don't know. But it's, it's a basic book. You know, it'd be good for beginners. The boys, is, I've been letting them read this. But, you know, it's got some first aid in here. It's got, um, you know, trying to see, where's it at? You know, cooking devices and stuff like that for bushcrafters or camping and stuff. Um, but they had, I'm trying to find it. They had, you know, this is pretty cool too. How to make a, to a, a table, you know, using dovetails and stuff like that, which I thought that was pretty cool, you know. You're, you're never too old to learn, and like I said, I am not no expert. Because uh, stuff I might be doing, if I read a book, a simple book like this, I might learn an easier way of doing it. And that's, that's, that is great. But I'm looking, oh, here it is. They got all kinds of uh, different knots, how to tie different knots and lashings and stuff like that. And I thought that was pretty cool, because I don't know a lot of, knot tying you know I tie the basic knot 
But um, I thought that was pretty, pretty cool how to splice and everything like that. So that's a pretty good book. If you come across that, this book, I would definitely, I would grab it. Um, here's another, I guess, church. It's a Pathfinder's Field Guide. Um, it's got stars in it and stuff like that. Your Southern Horizon, another Southern Horizon. But um, I thought that was pretty cool. But they got just different, you know, how to load a bicycle. You could tell this is back again from the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. But um, it just gives you basic ideals. The boys enjoy reading this. You know, cooking over an open fire with aluminum foil and stuff. Canoe safety, boating safety, you know, tracking and stuff like that. But I thought it was pretty cool. The boys, they, they enjoy this. But this one right here is a lot better than this one. Um, I wish I could find the whole set of this. Um, this is would be a great set. I've got the C's. This would be volume four, I guess, because this got all kinds of setting up different tents, you know, different um, tarps, shelters, um, just all kinds of carpentry. I know a lot about already, but uh, I haven't really used that. But it shows you, you know, different, trying to get it here, the old types, tools that you should have. And, um, you know, just different old type tools that I've been looking for. I'm trying to get back here. You know, it breaks down. It gives you little things you can do, too, making toys. But, um, canoe, it tells you how to, it even shows you how to do a, a um, pull behind camping trailer and canoes and it gives some first aid in here as well I'm sorry if you got if I'm moving too fast for you guys you know poison ivy and the basics how to step over stuff which if you're not used to being out in the woods um, I, I would learn how to step when you're walking through stuff you get some poisonous animals and stuff it's pretty cool I mean it's a pretty cool book I wish to, like I said if I can find the whole I would love to find the whole set of this encyclopedias um, this is kind of funny I bought this after 9-11 and I've read it and I've read it and it's you know a lot of it I already knew because it's got a lot of military stuff in there so I already knew most of that but, um, yeah. see, it's falling apart. I've had it for so long. But I bought this, um, I saw an ad in Soldier of Fortune. You know, they were advertising this. I think it was Paladine Press. I don't even know if those people in, is in business anymore. But, uh, I bought that. But this is what it is. It's a pretty good book. You know, if you don't have any military experience or anything like that or training this book gives you the basics which would be a great you know everybody should have some type of um, military knowledge when it comes to an SHTF situation I'm not talking militia I'm talking you know basic military training that way you know how to patrol how to set up the perimeter and stuff like that to help keep your home safe um, Pat my friend he gave me this, and this is a killer, killer little thing that you could put in your bug out bag. I mean, it's got food, it's got essentials. Um, sorry. I mean, it's got rope tying as well. Then you flip it over, and it's got camp craft, on the move. Um, sorry, guys. Rescue, health. This is a killer setup right here killer setup um, here it is I would highly recommend if you could find this get it 
but I'm going to do you guys one better. He gave me two of these. I opened this one. This one's unopened. If anybody wants a copy of this, um, tell me in a comment. Say, hey, I'd like to have a copy. I'll put you guys' name in a drawing, and I'll, I'll draw it here in a few days, and I'll send this out to somebody. But this is a great, just to put it in your um, bug out bag, read it before you put it in your bug out bag. This is a great, great tool to have. But if you're interested in it, you know, he gave me two, but I don't need two, and I like to share the knowledge. So anybody that wants it, try to, you know, just let me know, and I'll put everybody's name in, and um, I'll have a drawing for it. But let me get over here. I want to talk about a couple more things real quick. I ordered from, um, it's going to do that, right. campingsurvival.com. Ordered some of these um, Medicore, um, it's for your thyroids, for radiation. And the cool thing about this, it tells the doses of adults, children, to newborns it tells you how many you're supposed to take how many times and for how long and they're relatively they're they're it's a good price I can't remember the price and I bought for the life of me I cannot say that except uh, I ain't even gonna try to say it because I ain't gonna make a fool of myself but fish antibiotics uh, this, you know, like I said, that's where you want to go. They got, this was free shipping. Both those, they didn't charge me shipping for them. It's free. So that is, that's cool. But that's, that's where I got it from. Check them out online. Um, one more thing. Sorry, guys. I watched a movie the other night uh, on um, YouTube. And it is a realistic movie and you guys need to check it out. I wrote the name down. The name of it is The Blackout. And it's sort of like an EMP or the power grid went down and people went bat crap crazy. And this is the um, YouTube that I found it on. Film Rise Features. So if you haven't seen that movie, check them out. Check that movie out. Cause it is a, it don't have a lot of, it don't, I don't even think it have any major stars in it. It's like a, a B movie, but it's, it's pretty realistic, you know, how people acts and turns on one another and, and stuff like that. So you want to check that out because that, that's a good movie. Last thing guys, and I'll leave you alone for tonight. Um, you know, I, I, I make my own. Uh, frog gigs and stuff like that and um, H and H he said he was at um, Walmart's and he found some and every time I'm at Walmart's I never find them because I have to order but I went over there I found a four prong a smaller one and I found a five prong a bigger one these are perfect for frogs these are perfect for killing snakes so you don't have to get bit for spear and fish and if you're above small animals or something like that rabbits and you know whatever's in there muskrats if you can get a good shot on them with this it's another it's another tool to get you food plus you can use it for a defensive weapon as well I mean would you want that stuck in your butt or in your gut I don't think I would. I wouldn't even want this little one stuck in me. That would hurt. That would damn sure hurt. <laughs> so, um, it's a pretty good idea to pick up a couple of them. I mean, you don't even have to use the screw is in there. You can, you know, have a nail and just hammer it in there. That's why I say always carry nails in your bug out bag. Different size nails. Sixes. Eights. 16s, you know, you never know when you're going to need a nail in a bug out situation. Plus, if you've got some roofing nails or 16s or 8s, you can always, you know, drive them through wood 
to make um, tire spikes or any type of booby traps. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Aries is doing super great. The uh, No signs of infection. We changed his bandage today. It, uh, the bleeding has stopped. Uh, we cleaned it real good. I put some um, Neosporin on there, wrapped it back up. Um, yeah, he's doing good. And, you know, he told me he's in there watching a, a wrestling DVD right now, relaxing. But um, he read some of your comments, and he had the biggest smile on his face. He says, Dad, I'm famous. They, they know my name. So you guys, thank you guys. You really, you made his day. Thank you. And he is so happy with the comments that he read. Um, like I said, again, I've got some, I've got some kick-ass sub-friends. That's all I can say, you know. The rest of the, the YouTube world should be jealous. You know, I'm a small channel, but I've got, I got the best, I got the best sub-friends. But, um, definitely check these guys out. You know, um, I can't remember how much, I think it was like $22 or $23 for both bottles and it was free shipping. You know, definitely check that movie out, The Blackout. And, uh, because this is a pretty good movie. And again, if you want, if you want to try to win a chance to get this, which I highly recommend getting, uh, and just reading it and keeping it in your bug out bag. Don't put it, in, put, keep it in your bug out bag, your inch bag, your get home bag, whatever bag you want to call it. Because this has got a lot of great information in it. But um, leave me a comment saying, hey, I want to win it, chance to win it, and I'll put your name in there. And I'm sorry this is at 17 minutes and I'm running my mouth. But everybody, be safe. Keep prepping. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye for now.